Hello there, I'm Mariana C.P. Hunter, real estate broker and financial expert. And today we're going to be talking about the housing crisis. Uh, I haven't been doing that many videos because I've been assisting people one-on-one -on -one, um, with their individual situations. Now, what's happening is that they're trying to pass an act for to hold, to have the rents being forgiven, to, to forgive the rents that you were passed due until the crisis is over and not, not have to repay. But what's happening is, most likely, in all honesty, I don't think, well, not to be, you know, there's no other option but being honest. Um, <clears throat> I don't think it will pass because you cannot tell private industry uh, not to profit because that is an income, it's, it's a business, it's a business, literally um, housing, it's a housing business. People rent out, uh, buy the complex or put money towards it, um, invest on it to get uh, money back <clears throat> and when well there are big companies who could afford it because they could it's like when they get pro free promotions for one or two months so big companies could afford to do that if they wish to do so but if they're um but small owners like who only own four properties they really cannot if they especially if they have mortgage themselves even though they might have a break from the bank themselves they themselves depend upon that income for their daily living too. So <clears throat> just like the people, uh, they could have lost their job. They were hoping to get money from the rent. I think it's really hard. I, I, I understand both sides of the situation, but at the end of the day, all they can do is hold it. Um, I have seen, I think it's gonna be June 1st. Honestly, you're going to see a lot of evictions starting to take place, all the documents that need to take place in order to evict people. And it's going to be mostly people who are not on top of their rent to begin with. So people who are bad tenants to begin with, people who were already late. Uh, if you were in good standing before this crisis, most likely it's not going to happen to you. But if you were a person that were not, was not able to make a payment to begin with, you were already struggling making the rent, well, most likely that, that's what's going to happen. When, um, for the buildings that are owned, like, um, no, for buildings that take um, money from the government, like Section 8, well, they're going to have to comply with whatever government um, sets forward, like maybe forgive the rent. But that's going to be only applicable to Section 8. It's not going to be applicable to everybody, individual buildings owners or individual cor corporations. Um, they don't have to apply it's an independent business and they don't take money from the government so they don't have to apply by the government rules unless it is um, racism or um, unfair housing sort of that thing but other than that um, so that's what we're looking to do now I'm gonna have another video what what you should do if you're in this situation but as far as forgiving the rent most likely maybe that's the most that you could ask for and but be prepared to make the June payment because otherwise um, if you want to live in somebody's property you cannot live in somebody's property for free and that's their argument that's the argument they're gonna have I hope this has helped you till next time